Okay, today I'm going to be looking at a DIY clone of the Vox Repeat Percussion Tremolo. I'll do a short demo and then we'll have a look inside and see how easy it is uh, to build this. So this is the uh, layout I've used. Um, one thing I have omitted is the tone switch. Now the rate switch here seems to be, uh, I think that's a double pole, double throw. And you can see the, uh, the capacitors across the terminals there. I've used a single pole double throw 
Um, and if you look at this picture, you can see how I've configured the caps for the, uh, the different rates. So for uh, Q1, I've used uh, 2N2646 um, uh, that's quite crucial to the uh, sound of this tremolo. And Q2 and 3, I've used 2N5089, which seem to do the trick. Okay, so let's have a look inside. This is made from a uh, one pound uh, coffee container. Uh, I think it's stainless steel. It's quite sturdy. Let's open it up. Uh, the bot bottom there, uh, I've just taken a hacksaw to cut out the apertures for the in and out sockets. Uh, remove the battery. And there's the circuit board. Very few components. Quite a straightforward build. If you have a look there at the switch, you can see I've got two capacitors uh, for the timing. Uh, you can experiment with different values for those. You can use ceramic or electrolytic. You can always put a uh, bit of tape on the bottom of that board if uh, anything shorts out on the uh, potentiometers or case there. It may uh, be a little daunting for a first time builder, but um, it really is quite straightforward this build, so I, I would give it a go. It's a, a good unique uh, tremolo with uh, quite a uh, percussive effect. I think that's because of the uh, transistors which do the uh, switching of uh, the amplitude. Okay, this is the uh, coffee uh, container that I used. The lid there was used uh, for the top and if you go into a store you want to make sure that the top will fit on the bottom otherwise you um, won't be able to clamshell it together. Obviously we, I've just sanded the, uh, the uh, red paint off there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.